Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us, a God who watches over us, a God who calls us to himself like the sheep to a shepherd. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Ezekiel chapter 34, beginning at verse 11. For this is what the sovereign Lord says, I myself will search my sheep and look after them. As the shepherd looks for his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on a day of clouds and darkness. I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries. And I will bring them into their own land. I will pasture them on the mountain of Israel, in the ravines, and in all the settlements of the land. I will tend them in a good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel will be their grazing land. There they will lie down in good grazing land, and they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will tend my sheep and have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. You know, as I read these words, I, I really see this picture of how God wants to lead us as his people. How, how God has, has you know, basically created each one of us. How God has basically loved us first. How God has said, I will do my part. And yet at the same time, God does say, if we are stubborn, if we are... Um, you know, sleek and sly and, and all these things that will be destroyed. Um, God has created us with a choice. Uh, the reason we live through this time on earth before we go to heaven is so that we can choose. We can choose to do it God's way or we can choose to do it our, our own way. Um, the fact is, is that I don't have to choose God. I want to. Um, God first loved me. God first loves you. God first loves all of creation. And all of creation, as long as they're living, has the opportunity to turn their hearts toward God. God wants to pull them back from the places they've got into. Uh, if God wants to pull them back from the depths of darkness and where they found themselves. Uh, you know, I, I know that each person is different. We've all had different experiences, and some people have had horrible experiences in their life and got them to where they're at. But we serve a God who wants to pull them from that, a God who wants to, to love them. So our job as God's people is to, to call out to them as well, is, is to share with people the good news, even those who... Uh, may not seem to deserve it, if you will. And, and, and that's a judgment call, which we shouldn't be making. But I'm just saying, when in our minds, maybe uh, when we look at, at, at criminals, uh, the homeless, or others that are in those type of segments of society, we think, well, you know, they, they've got there themselves. They deserve what comes upon them. But the truth is, we all deserve death and punishment. Uh, the only way that we get to heaven is through our acknowledgement that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that he died on a cross for us. And we ask him to, to take on our sins, which, of course, he does. Um, but that's why so many people miss the boat. So many people miss the boat because they don't realize that you can't be good enough on your own to get to heaven. Just because we may be better than somebody else, according to society's rules, doesn't make us good enough to go to heaven. And yet God says, I'm going to pull my people out from where they're at. I'm going to, to love on them. I'm going to be their, their, their leader. Um, and I'll destroy those who um, you know are... are go against me basically who won't want to be in charge um and i will be i'll, I'll be the shepherd i'll be the shepherd and i'll i'll, I'll rule with justice um, because that's what god is he's a just god he's a merciful god he's a holy god and when you put all this together then it, that's where it says i will shepherd the flock with justice today we are that flock today we are his people uh, and he wants to shepherd us with justice uh, he wants to lavish upon us his blessings as we're obedient to him he wants to correct us uh, when we're not being obedient to him, so that we can stay in the fold. Um, that's the type of God we serve. I don't know about you, but I simply want to follow the Lord today. I, I want to be obedient to him, and I want to call out to others and remind others of God's great love for them if they simply choose him. I hope today that you find yourself in a position where you can enjoy the day, whether you're working or playing or uh, whatever's going on. I just pray that uh, you would have a wonderful day uh, with the Lord be by your side. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that you will uh, rule with justice, that you will be our shepherd, that you love us more than we could ever love you. Uh, and yet our choice for you, uh, our choice is to choose you or not. Uh, and we thank you for that choice. And although we wish others would make the same choice we've made, so far they haven't had that opportunity yet or haven't made that choice yet. Father, we pray today that you use our lives to not only uh, bless you, uh, to be a blessing to you as best we can, but that our lives will be used to bless others. Father, fill us with your love and your hope, and your peace, and may that spill into the lives of others, and may we share your great love with them. Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. 
Father, please bless those that we know. Bless those who need a physical touch, a mental touch, a spiritual touch, a financial touch, whatever the case could be. Bless them right where they're at, according to your will, that that too might bring you praise. And Father, we'll be careful to give you all the praise. We ask for all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants to shepherd you today. He wants to bless you today. Let's follow after him as best we can. Praise God for that. Uh, have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.